In the practice of Nichiren Buddhism, chanting Dai Moku reciting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is central. It is both simple in its practice and profound in its impact, and understanding its significance can open the door to a deeper, richer life. Through this practice, one can tap into an inner strength and wisdom that leads to true happiness, fulfillment, and the courage to face any of life's challenges. When we chant, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we are not merely repeating a phrase. We are invoking the very essence of the Lotus Sutra. The Lotus Sutra is considered the highest teaching of the Buddha, where he reveals the universal potential for Buddhahood in all people. Myoho Renge Kyo is the Japanese pronunciation of the title of this sutra. By adding, Nam, which means to dedicate oneself, we commit our lives to the truth and principles contained in the Lotus Sutra. What does Nam Myoho Renge Kyo mean? Breaking down the phrase helps to understand the power it holds. Myoho means mystic law, where Myo can be translated as wonderful or mysterious, and Ho as law or principle. This refers to the law of life that governs all phenomena in the universe, a law that is mysterious because it is beyond ordinary understanding. Renge means lotus flower, a symbol of the simultaneity of cause and effect. The lotus blooms and seeds at the same time, symbolizing how every cause we make with our thoughts, words, and actions brings about an effect. Finally, kyo means sutra or teaching, indicating the voice or teachings of the Buddha. Together, Myoho Renge Kyo encapsulates the law that underlies all life and the teachings that express this truth. Nichiren Daishonin described this phrase as the essence of all phenomena. He taught that by chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, one could align their life with this mystic law, bringing about harmony, joy, and wisdom in daily living. In his writings, Nichiren states, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is like the roar of a lion. What sickness can therefore be an obstacle? Here, Nichiren emphasizes the tremendous power contained within the Dai Moku, likening it to the fearless roar of a lion that overcomes all difficulties. Chanting Dai Moku and its benefits. Chanting Dai Moku is a practice that can be done by anyone, anywhere, and at any time. Whether you are dealing with a personal crisis, striving to achieve a goal, or simply seeking to find more peace and balance in your life, chanting can serve as a powerful tool to transform your situation. The benefits of chanting are vast and can be experienced in many areas of life. One of the most immediate effects of chanting is the shift in our state of mind. When we chant, we are consciously choosing to focus our thoughts and energy on a positive, life-affirming mantra. This focus helps to quiet the mind's constant chatter and bring a sense of calm and clarity. The more we chant, the more we can cultivate a positive and resilient mindset. As Nichiren writes, a mind now clouded by illusions of the innate darkness of life is like a tarnished mirror, but when polished, it is sure to become like a clear mirror, reflecting the essential nature of phenomena and the true aspect of reality. This polishing of the mirror refers to the process of revealing our Buddha nature, the innate wisdom, courage, and compassion that resides within each of us. As we chant, we gradually remove the layers of doubt, fear, and negativity that obscure our true potential. Over time, this practice leads to a profound inner transformation, allowing us to approach life with a greater sense of purpose and confidence. Another significant benefit of chanting Dai Moku is its ability to change our external circumstances. In the Lotus Sutra, it is said that those who uphold the Sutra will be protected by the Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, and heavenly beings. Nichiren teaches that this protection is not just a passive shield, but an active force that works to bring about positive change in our environment. Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, he writes, is like the sun and moon in the heavens a mighty drum that strikes the heavens and earth, and the Lion King who commands all other animals. This metaphor illustrates how chanting can influence our surroundings, drawing forth opportunities, resources, and support that align with our goals and aspirations. For example, many people have experienced breakthroughs in their careers, relationships, or health after committing to a consistent practice of chanting. 
This is not merely coincidence, but a manifestation of the principle of oneness of self and environment, taught in Buddhism. This principle suggests that our inner life condition and our external reality are deeply interconnected. By elevating our life state through chanting, we naturally begin to attract positive outcomes in the world around us. The power of determination in chanting. The effectiveness of chanting Dai Moku is also tied to the determination and intention behind it. When we chant with a strong, focused determination, we are expressing a deep commitment to overcoming obstacles and achieving our goals. Nichiren often emphasized the importance of chanting with a resolute mind and unwavering conviction. In one of his letters, he encourages a follower, stating, Summon up your faith and pray to this Gohanzen. Then what is there that cannot be achieved? This faith is not blind belief but a confidence born from experience. The more we chant, the more we see tangible results, which in turn strengthens our faith and determination. This creates a virtuous cycle where faith leads to practice, practice leads to benefits, and those benefits reinforce our faith. It's important to remember that the power of Dai Moku lies not just in the words themselves, but in the spirit with which we chant them. A half-hearted effort will yield half-hearted results, while a determined and sincere practice will bring about profound changes. Chanting for the happiness of others While chanting for our own goals and happiness is important, Nichiren also emphasized the significance of chanting for the well-being of others. He taught that the practice of Buddhism is not just about personal gain, but about contributing to the happiness of all people. This is rooted in the Bodhisattva ideal of compassion, where one seeks enlightenment not just for oneself, but for all beings. In the Lotus Sutra, there is the concept of propagating the Dharma, which refers to sharing the teachings with others so they too can experience the benefits of chanting. Nichiren believed that by spreading the practice of Dai Moku, we can create a ripple effect of positive change throughout society. If you light a lantern for another, he wrote, it will also brighten your own way. This quote captures the essence of compassionate practice by helping others, we simultaneously uplift ourselves. Chanting for others can be a deeply fulfilling experience. When we chant with a sincere wish for someone else's happiness or success, we are opening our hearts and expanding our capacity for love and compassion. This selfless intention also enhances the power of our practice, as it aligns us with the broader purpose of Buddhism, to alleviate suffering and bring joy to all. Dai Moku as a lifelong practice Chanting Dai Moku is not just a quick fix for life's problems, it is a lifelong practice that continually deepens and evolves. As we continue to chant over the years, we build a strong foundation of inner strength and wisdom that can carry us through any challenge. Nichiren wrote, Winter always turns to spring, reminding us that no matter how difficult our circumstances, they are bound to change if we persist in our practice. This persistence is key. There may be times when we feel discouraged or doubt the effectiveness of our chanting, especially when results are not immediate. However, it's important to trust in the process and keep chanting with determination. Nichiren encourages us to continue your practice without backsliding, emphasizing that consistent effort will eventually bear fruit. Moreover, the practice of Dai Moku is not limited to times of crisis or need. Chanting can be a source of daily joy and inspiration, helping us to maintain a balanced and harmonious life. By making chanting a regular part of our routine, we can stay connected to our inner Buddha nature and navigate life's ups and downs with greater ease. A personal connection with Dai Moku Each person's experience with chanting Dai Moku is unique, and over time, you will develop your own personal connection with the practice. Some may find that chanting brings them a sense of peace and clarity, while others may experience bursts of inspiration and creativity. The beauty of Dai Moku lies in its ability to meet each person where they are and provide exactly what is needed in that moment. For many practitioners, chanting becomes a source of comfort and strength, a way to center themselves amidst the chaos of daily life. Whether you are facing a difficult decision, dealing with a personal loss, or simply seeking a deeper understanding of yourself, chanting can provide the insight and guidance you need. 
As Nichiren wrote, there is no true happiness other than upholding faith in the Lotus Sutra. This is what is meant by peace and security in this life and good circumstances in the next. The Global Impact of Daimoku Beyond personal benefits, chanting Daimoku also has the potential to create positive change on a global scale. Nichiren believed that if enough people embraced the practice of chanting, it could lead to the establishment of a peaceful and harmonious society. This idea is rooted in the Buddhist concept of changing poison into medicine, which teaches that even the most negative circumstances can be transformed into something positive through the power of the mystic law. In today's world, where conflict, division, and suffering are prevalent, the practice of chanting Daimoku offers a path toward healing and unity. By chanting for the happiness of all people and the peace of the world, we contribute to a collective effort to create a better future. Nichiren's vision of establishing the correct teaching for the peace of the land is as relevant today as it was in his time, and each of us can play a part in bringing this vision to life through our practice. Embracing the practice of Daimoku Chanting Daimoku is a profound yet accessible practice that offers countless benefits. Whether you are new to the practice or have been chanting for years, there is always more to discover and experience. The power of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo lies in its ability to connect us to the deepest truths of life and to bring about positive change in both our inner and outer worlds. As you continue on your journey with Dai Moku, remember that this practice is not just about reciting words, but about tapping into the boundless potential within yourself. Through consistent and sincere chanting, you can overcome any obstacle, achieve your dreams, and contribute to the happiness of others. Nichiren's teachings remind us that we each have the power to transform our lives and the world around us. All it takes is the courage to chant, the determination to persevere, and the faith that winter always turns to spring.